Hey guys, it's Boone. So I know this is like a, a weird angle, but anyway, so I'm, this is just a fun video for me. This is my shamrock. Um, you can see they're pretty, uh, what's the word, Le leggy? And that's because they just reach for the light, uh, the sun, where I have them placed. This is a, a house plant. I've had this for, I actually, not 12 months, but 14, so a year and two months. And I discovered something new. The shamrock has rhizomes, and I didn't know that until last night. But I knew that I needed to transplant it because it's getting so long. And research says I could cut these off, replant, and, you know, they'll grow really fast. But... I don't want to cut them so I'm going to transplant most of it into this pot here and I'm going to plant a couple in this one and I am using this Daddy Pete's potting soil. Uh, first I need to get the old soil out of this so I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that because I am in my kitchen floor. So whatever mess I make, I'm going to clean it up myself. So hang on. All right, so I don't know how that's going to go, but um, the soil right now is a little dry. Um, I water it often, but I need new food. Yeah, it's kind of moist on the bottom. The top is dry, but it's really moist down here, and the little plastic thing is it, what it, the original package came with. Um, but anyways, I just want to break this up a little bit, and oh yeah, there is a whole bunch of rhizomes in this. And that cat, I don't know if you can see her, but that's pancake. I'm just kind of breaking up some of this soil here. Um, I want to dump it. There's actually some rhizomes that look. Let me show you. This is a rhizome, and I can plant that. I can actually tear that off, and that will grow a new one. So we're probably going to have a lot more here than I thought. Here's another one. Um, oh yeah, there's a bunch in here. So I might just get a few pots. Anyways, this is just some of the this old soil, which I'll put this in my garden outside, and yes, I'm making a terrific mess, but that's okay. All right. All right, so now I'm going to put some of this in the soil in here, so maybe, you know, this will just get use my hands here. I'm making a huge mess anyways. My friends, y'all can laugh at me. It's okay. I still love y'all. You know, it's pouring rain outside. I would have done this outside. I have a gardening table. In fact, I have like three gardening tables, but it's pouring. It's Memorial Day weekend and it's pouring. Well, actually, today's Memorial Day and it's pouring. So it is what it is. I'm doing it on my kitchen floor. And I will clean my own mess later. If my husband was here, he'd give me a hard time and be like, you know, the woman of the house, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, so, let's see. I might just, wow. Can you hear that? <laughs> but what, I'm going to bring this up so you can see. These are the rhizomes. Crazy. All right, so we're going in. As these suckers, you want the rhizomes really need to be covered completely. You don't want them sticking out of the surface. And I just might pull these off. I am recording, just so you know, whoever's coming down the stairs. One of my twins. Okay. So anyways, let me fill up that soil, and then I'll be back with you. So, I lost... A few of the, um, the, uh, it is recording. You, oh. They're going to see. I lost a few of the greens, but I can't help yeah. it. <laughs> um, I got you. So, 
I lost a few of them because they're so fragile right now and because the rhizomes are so close to the soil. And you know what I'm going to do with these? I'm just going to stick them in some water um, until they're done. I don't know how that will do. I don't know if they'll just die or... I don't know. But I'm going to stick them in some water like a little mini vase I have. But I'm just going to start some new ones here. Just going to stick them right in the soil. And they're going to grow fast. At least that's what the research told me or what I read. We'll find out though. Um, I'll do an update and show you how, how it's looking. But like, I'm just going to stick these right in the pot. And I'm going to make another one with this pot. Uh, just, I'm curious to see, if, for one, if I do this right. Um, I don't know. I, I Last year, or 14 months ago, was the first time I ever had a shamrock. Yep, it was, you know, St. Patrick's Day, uh, or close to it, or something like that. Um, so my youngest daughter told me to get one, so I did. Alright, so, here it is. I'm just going to stick the rhizome back in there, this guy, and hope for the best. Same with this one. Um, and maybe, you know, I can start some more, you know, we'll see how many I can get out of this. This is a really long one here. Um, I'll put that one in here. Let's see. Like I said, this is all new to me. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I'm going to stick them in there, see what happens. And when you water them, you're supposed to like wait until it dries, you know, dries complete in between each watering. Um, if that information is correct. I don't really know, but we'll find out. We will find out. Pull that off. All right. Put that one in there. So let's see. My floor is an absolute mess. Anyway, so here's the new one. And three more should at least grow out of there. We'll see. And you can see this one. I know it's not pretty right now, but when I'm all done and when it gets some, uh, this is all fresh nutrients. Like I said, it's um, Daddy Pete's potting mix, so all kinds of fresh, nu fresh nutrients in there. I'm going to give it the water and uh, we'll see how it does. So <laughs> here's the mess I've made. But anyways, I'm almost done. And I'll show you what they look like after I water them down. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> okay. So here's a little one. And mind you, this um, whole thing, this is the second transplanting. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay. So the big one here is finished. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there, right there. So it's all watered in, and I'm gonna go put it in its spot. It has a very nice uh, window spot. Um, every day, I open the blinds, and it gets some wonderful, wonderful sunlight all day. And then, of course, I couldn't throw these away. How long will they not die? We'll see. <laughs> It's pretty, this is a cute little vase. I got this at the Emporium in uh, Winston-Salem. But anyways, so thanks for watching my out there video today on my shamrocks. And I'll come back later. We'll see how they do. Until next time, I hope today's good to you and happy Memorial Day. So here's the spot that they're in. The big one Sorry. and the little one. And there is the window. It is, uh, I don't know, five-ish? Okay, six-ish. The sun's going down, so it's not so light anymore. But I'll be back and show you updates on how I did. Hopefully, I did it right. We'll see.
Thanks, guys. Bye.